this should be illegal. Ladies and gentlemen, let's get ready to be strong! It's Sandwich Mania! What's going on people? You saw the intro. It's time for a little bit of Sandwich Mania. If you're new to my channel, welcome aboard. I have a very special treat for you. These are some of my favorite videos to make. They're wacky, they make no sense, they're crazy, but they're a lot of fun. In this video, we are taking the normal peanut butter jelly sandwich to a whole nother level, to a whole nother stratosphere. As my buddy Buzz Lightyear would say, to infinity! And beyond! That's what I got for you today. Let's get into it. We're going to jump right into this with our silky smooth homemade marshmallow fluff. If you're crazy enough to try to make this sandwich and you don't have a lot of time, just go to the store, buy uh, your standard fluff. It'll work just as good. I prefer it homemade. So what you need is three egg whites. And we're just going to take the egg here, give it a crack. That's not what you want to do. That's not what you want to do at all. A few moments later. I thought I was getting good at this over the years, but that just uh, knocked my confidence a little bit. All right, so track it down the center. And just keep throwing the egg yolk back and forth. Let the egg white come through. Okay, this part is simple. We have our three egg whites, and more importantly, we have our cream of tartar. In other words, magic pixie dust. What it's going to do is help speed up the foam process and help stabilize our mixture. It's actually a byproduct of uh, grapes fermenting in the wine. And don't quote me on that because I just read that online. Okay, it's time to let these two things work their magic. Go in with the egg whites. You need a fourth of a teaspoon. And three fourths cups of cornstarch. And three fourths cups of corn syrup. And you just want to mix this about medium speed. So while we let this mix, Here's what we have to do. Grab a sauce pot, add 3 fourths cups of sugar and 3 fourths cups of corn syrup. 1 third cup of water. Mikey B Pro Tip here. Do not stir this combination. We're gonna let it sit and when it reaches 225 degrees Fahrenheit, that's when we're gonna add it to our mixing bowl. All right, so our syrup is at like around 225 degrees. You wanna throw this blender on high and slowly drip in the syrup. I'm putting our homemade fluff to the side and now we have our Wonder Bread. You have to respect it. 100 years, great stuff. Our peanut butter and our jelly. So you see how these came out? So this is what you want, kind of like little miniature flying saucers. So here's the key to getting that perfect circle, just like the Uncrustable packets that they sell. You want to really press down and then just scrape everything off. This is going to keep the center from getting ripped, which is also going to help it when we go to put it in the oil. Voila, it's already starting to get that thin edge around it too. All right, I shouldn't have to tell you too much about this. Put peanut butter on one side, jelly on the other, 
clamp up the edges with a fork or your hands and make sure it's completely closed. Then we're gonna drop it in a pan with hot oil and we're gonna cook it until it's brown for about one to two minutes on each side. As if deep frying these weren't enough, I'm gonna add an excessive amount of powdered sugar because I can. Okay, I know what you're probably thinking right now. What the hell is wrong with this guy? And if I knew, I would tell you. But guess what? This is sandwich mania, and that means anything goes. Our Nutella is on. We're gonna follow up with our marshmallow fluff. Shall I take the first bite? Biting into this is like sending a rush of dopamine, max dopamine to every part of your body. I'm talking beyond the brain. It's like taking a standard peanut butter jelly and pumping it up with so much steroids. That's the only way I can really describe this. Almost as if like one bite is enough, like boom, that's it. One bite and you're good. The outside is nice and crispy as you can hear. And then look at the inside, still just nice and gooey and warm. Also, I can honestly say, I've never quite had a dessert like this in my life. It is just way out there, man. Way out there. All right, if you stayed this long, thank you so much for watching. Also, a little announcement here. If we can close in on 100 subscribers on YouTube, I will take down Jackie Fitness in an eating challenge. We will go toe to toe and I will win. I think FanDuel has me at the favorite at round minus 200. I gotta see, I gotta check it out. On top of that, we have a potential collab on the radar with Devil's Bird Progress. I will drop her link in the description below. If you enjoyed this video, the best way you can help me out is dropping a like down below, leave a comment and subscribe. All right, with that being said, I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out. Cock it and pull it